I think the worst part is when they say I won't serve gay people. That's just not true. I've never discriminated against anyone in my life. It was a Friday, March 1st, 2013. One of my favorite customers, Rob Ingersoll, walked into the store. Rob's more than a customer, he's a friend. He's been coming in to me for over nine years for birthdays, anniversaries, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. His arrangements were my favorite to design. They were really fun and challenging. We'd bounce different ideas around and he'd let me be creative and produce something that was unique and special for him. Floral design is an art and Rob gets that. I knew Rob would be coming in. He had been there the week before when I was out and told the staff that he and his longtime partner, Kurt, were getting married. I knew Rob would want me to create floral designs for their wedding. I love Rob, but I knew I couldn't do this. I'm a devout Christian. My relationship with Jesus Christ is the most important thing in my life. That's where everything I am and everything I have comes from, including my creativity. My faith also teaches me that marriage is a sacred union between a man and a woman. When the staff told me about Rob's visit, my husband and I talked and prayed about it. I would gladly sell him prearranged flowers or loose flowers, but I knew that as much as I love Rob, I could not create something to celebrate an event that was totally against my faith. I didn't want to hurt Rob's feelings, and I wanted to tell him as gently as possible. On that Friday, Rob came back. I took his hand in mine and told him I could not do his wedding because of my relationship with Jesus Christ. Rob said he understood and was very loving. We chatted as we always had. We talked about his mom walking him down the aisle, how we got engaged. Then Rob asked me to recommend another florist. And I recommended three that I knew would do him a good job. We hugged each other and Rob left. I was so thankful that Rob had graciously accepted my explanation and that we had parted as friends. Until a few weeks later, I got a letter in the mail from Washington State's Attorney General the government was threatening to sue me unless I designed floral arrangements for same-sex weddings. I was in shock. It didn't seem possible to me that Rob would have filed a complaint, and he hadn't. The attorney general saw a post Rob's partner had put on social media and decided on his own to threaten me, to take away my livelihood, unless I would create art for an event I didn't believe in. But I could never do that. I can't use the gift God gave me to violate my relationship with him. So the government and the ACLU sued my business and me personally for discrimination. My lawyers and I have been battling this case in court for four years. My case is simple. Will I serve gay customers? Yes, I serve Rob joyfully for over nine years and would welcome him back to my shop even now. Will I hire gay employees? Yes, and I have. Will I let the government force me to create art expressing things I don't believe in? No, and that's my right. That's every American's First Amendment right. What does freedom of expression mean if the government tells me how to express my art? What does freedom of religion mean if the government tells me I can't live out my relationship with Jesus Christ? If I lose in court, I will likely lose everything. The penalties and attorney's fees could be well over a million dollars. My business would be gone. My husband and I would lose our home and our retirement. But I have faith. God gave me a gift. And I just want to continue serving him by using that gift to bring beauty and joy into people's lives. Rob and Kurt had the freedom to live their lives according to their beliefs. Should I not have that same right too? <laughs>